Hey there, it's Ross Lukeman from Alternative Homes Today, and I wanted to take you out with me. I'm in Sonoran Desert National Monument. This is southwest of Phoenix, about probably 50 miles. Really beautiful area, and uh, I've been out on the road for about six months, and I just wanted to show you kind of the secret I found to doing uh, deep cleaning, uh, keeping the van maintained, and uh, really just being able to keep things up and take care of things during long-term travel when you don't really have a house or a garage to go back to and uh, take care of business. All right, welcome to cleaning and maintenance day. I'm sure you're excited. I just wanted to show you my full method for getting everything back in order when you're out here doing long-term travel in the van. So my method basically is to pull everything out and clean the van and then put everything back in an organized fashion. And this will make your life in the van a lot easier. So without further ado, All right, I've got everything cleaned up. I wanted to give you a quick tour. And before I do, I just want to mention, I put in these towel racks while I was out here. Uh, this is the kitchen towel. This is the bath towels. And uh, when you close this door, they kind of line up. They go around the corner here and line up. So a little, a little detail. A couple weeks ago, I actually put in a uh, meter for my charge controller. I had it in a box. It was connected and I had a, a readout on it but um, I went ahead and cut a hole in the paneling and installed it and uh, made it look nice and ran a phone line back to the charge controller. Did that a couple weeks ago. So I don't try to do major stuff out here, but I do, along with the cleaning, I do minor repairs and minor upgrades. And it just, living in a van full time, it just kind of keeps you going and, and keeps everything running uh, in working order. So with that, let me go ahead and give you a quick tour. So this is kind of our computer area. On the right, we've got a chair and a TV tray that fold out. It's a 21 inch iMac connected to the frame of the van. And here on the side of that cabinet, we've got 110 volt power on the left. We've got a couple of 12 volt sockets there. And in the middle, we've got our remote for our roof vent fan. Now under the bed, you can see the batteries way at the back. And we've got some file boxes with clothing. And this is just a regular Ikea uh, twin size spring mattress. Now in the kitchen, we've got our water tanks hidden inside this cabinet. We've got an RV sink and a hand pump faucet. And there at the back left, you can see we've got a little closet where I can hold some hanging clothes. We've got a grid drain to make sure nothing goes down into our gray water tank. Here's our closet again and our new charge controller meter that we just put in. Now here on the ceiling, we've got a Max Fan 4500K with a black lid. Now here at the end of the bed, we've got 12 volt and 110 power there on the left. We've got our breaker box and on the right, we have our charge controller. I can also add my bike in over all those components. There's a little arm that comes out from the end of the bed and it grabs the center tube of my bike. And there's a little end cap that I can screw on and this is going to hold my bike secure while I go down the road. And this also makes it a little bit harder to uh, walk off with the bike from a theft standpoint. 
So once that's secure, I'll just bring my front wheel in and tuck it into the leftover space. And at this point, I can actually close my rear doors and that bike is out of view, it's out of the weather, and it's ready to go down the road. So that's about it for this video. If you got a lot out of it, please give me a like below. If you'd like more videos on van life and van conversions, please subscribe to my channel below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.